tell me this is from a restaurant, I will believe it. Sorry, I'll bite first, I'll bite first. We all wait a while. Are this up for you guys? Huh? Okay, good afternoon people. Today no restaurant here, okay, but we, we'll still be doing food. Uh, okay, today I'm at Pico. You guys seen the Ayam Teliwang video? Nasi Lama Ayam Teliwang. The response is so good. A bunch of you guys went down. I got at least like 30 texts from you guys. Okay, so I found out the Nasi Lama place through this show called Food Tales. And today what I'm here is the people behind Food Tales actually reach out to me. And they're like, you know, uh, let's do something together. <laughs> so I'm here for a, like a formal meeting with them, but I'm wearing shorts uh, because I... Okay, let's head out and I'll talk to you guys a bit more about this event that's gonna happen. Let's go. Well, I'm a bit nervous, huh, guys. I, I, I've never been to this kind of formal, uh, like, formal setting, formal meeting. Stephen comes. Hey, which level? Uh? I'm a bit nervous. Huh? I, mean, I, I, I don't know what to expect in this meeting. Hi. Uh, I got a meeting here today with the. With the. X. Yeah, I have a meeting today with the O4X people. You're drinking meat days, yeah? Wow, I didn't expect this many people. Okay, you guys are okay to be on camera, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem, no problem. Okay, just nice. Then I can film this as part of the vlog. Mm. Video, right? We heard from them, then they said that their numbers really, really went up, which is exactly what oh, okay. we wanted to do. Right? Yeah. So when we started Gastro Beats um, and we did Food Tales. So uh, Gastro Beats is the one behind? Correct. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I've been there last year. We wanted to push the hawker story, we wanted to profile our local um, hawkers. Okay, so we are quite aligned. Yeah, yeah, we feel like there's something that we can do together. La. Okay. I wonder if you are chief foodie. What, do the, what does the chief foodie needs to do? Sounds like some like CFO <laughs> or something. Basically, right, when we go into Gastro Beats next year, we want to find 40 to 50 of the best... Best together, representation yeah, of, of the food scene in, in Singapore. Singapore. Okay. Yeah. But this is a lot of responsibility. Okay, so last year is a ticketed event. I don't know, can, can we make it free for everyone, this event? Wait, what do you give the... Wait, this year is like, what, $10 per ticket, right? One shot, make it free, So more food for, eh? Right? Then it benefits you, it benefits my viewers as well. This is the Taliwang, right, after I went there, right? There is so many uh, people that recommend other nasi lemaks, other like, you know, hawker stalls as well. Okay, that's why I intend to get my viewers to help contribute and help to curate some of the, some of the stalls. Lah. This year was good, but I think with the top 50 iconic, you know, it doesn't have to be hawkers, home cook and everything combined together. It's like a one place that people can just go in there and eat everything. So really must be free, man. Free, like they can how they eat <laughs> how they eat 50 in one day it makes sense for them to keep coming back right? you, you, if you do a ticket then they, they buy one yeah so you have to yeah that's a good point yeah if they want to cover 50 there's no way so actually today right i want to visit craft b which is i think they are on the third episode but the thing is i also understand that they serve dombri at their normal hawker outlet but i want to try what they serve at gastro which is all they the burgers very hard to get the menu that you get at Gastro. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, so if you really want to go, uh. also good you go, you uh. try, you tell us what you think. Okay. Ask Michelle and help you arrange. Michelle, you call the boss here, then you can get it. Okay. Then maybe they can be the first one that I pick. Okay, okay sweet. Okay, so we're here. Today, Steven and Hong Wei. So you guys see my trainer before. He works around here, so got him here. Today's my birthday week. I don't really want to do any sort of challenge. Okay, I have this Sisu. Okay, during my birthday week, I will not do any sort of crazy challenges. Past couple of years, I did that. Didn't end well. Hi, you okay? You are easy, eh? Yes, I Oh, okay, okay. So Michelle all caught you earlier. Yeah, he caught me. They said okay. you will be coming down today. Yes, yes. You, you got something like prepared for me, is it? Yes, yeah, so you'll be uh, doing something similar to this, but mm. instead of the regular bases that we have here, we are offering fries. Okay. Uh, okay, so typically uh, they are not open till evening. Uh. After their lunch service, they will be closed already. So today is special, they extended the hours a little bit. I'm here at 4. We're going to enjoy, share with the team. See my trainer, the chest getting bigger and bigger. Now. Free plug for, uh, if you guys are looking for PT, his IG will be down in my description. Now, but just a... Flex, yeah, flex. Yeah, flex. <laughs> He's been appearing a lot on Roy's uh, IG reel. Uh. I was like, I was scrolling IG, I was like, hey, wait, the burger is... Watch the burger. 
Wow, he looks damn artisanal, eh. Look at that. You do this, right? You serve it on a fancy plate, and then you tell me this is like a twenty dollar burger. I'll buy it. It looks solid. A uh, prawn patty, coleslaw, and a chili sauce. Okay. It looks a bit like chili crab sauce. Uh. Reminds me a bit of a Southwest burger. Those typical American Southwest fried chicken burger, right? They add coleslaw as well. But we'll see uh, later we try. This one I one bite, right? They do the way to eat. Really. They, they are waiting patiently for the food, you know? Like, Royce the video, you not you not Try, try, try. Oh, look at that. Okay. I, I was okay, I was okay. Okay, now. Hey! Today, I can see you're not a challenge. Huh? I've been snacking on this for a while. This is what I will share with the team. Huh? It's really not a lot of food. Right? This one is the short ribs, okay? Beef short ribs, which you commonly see in Korean barbecue restaurant. Right? This is uh, their thick ribs, okay? So it's steak, fries, and a little tomato salad. They give me four sauce. This sauce goes into the prawn burger, this chili sauce. This is a mentaiko sauce, but this one I forgot is what it is. It's been somewhere here. And this is the chimichurri sauce. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna keep her behind the camera. I want to try this burger for the longest time. I'm going to cut it to half and let him try, okay? I'm going to try to cut. I'm not the best person. Oh, tell me this is from a restaurant, I will believe it. Sorry, I bite first, I bite first. You'll wait a while. Are this half for you guys? Huh? Oh. Oh, this tastes damn gourmet. It's smoky. You can taste the caramelized onions. You can taste the coleslaw. Very rare you see beef burger inside the coleslaw. You can taste all the components. Like, it's so good. Oh, come on. My trainer is a bit too much. Let me try. Try it. We finished the burger first. Uh, okay, now the second burger. This one I'm very excited. I know you like, usually I pick the whole thing I just summon. But today I'm cutting it because today we're sharing. Wow, look at look at, look at how it's oozing out. Nice. Look at look at the side, look at the side. All that all that chili is oozing out. Can I bite it, yeah? Oh, this is the winner for me. Prawn patty is so soft. Eh. Okay, usually for prawn patty, it tastes a bit processed. This one, uh, the shrimp inside, they chop it into like minced up kind of like uh, shrimp. But the thing is, it's still got a bit of texture. Uh. It's not like a puree kind of form. Oh, Steven, come. I knew to share with you. You wait for another 30 seconds, this one gone. It's eh. one of the best prawn burger I've had all my life. I don't eat a lot of prawn burgers, huh? but this is hands down the best. The sauce is like a chili crab sauce. Huh? You see like three of us like hungry, hungry goes there. Eh? Okay, next up, come. We have to go into the, I want to try the short ribs. Huh? I never had short ribs huh? at a hawker setting before. I tried without the sauce first. Let's see how this tastes. It's tender, it's sweet, it's very, very smoky. It's got this very sweet uh, glaze on the exterior that is very, very pleasant. Mm. Oh, so good. Come, you guys try. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip it in some of the sauce. I taste the taste, but Okay. Some sort of truffle aioli. Yeah, it's truffle. I don't know why they only serve this during events. Eh. This is so good. Eh. Mm. 
Look at the menu, eh. the vegetables they serve, eh. it's not commonly seen in hawkers. Eh. They serve those like zucchini, certain type of mushroom, which is, which is a good thing. Eh. They cannot wait, eh. they just keep... I got nothing to say for this truck. It's, it's sweet, grilled perfectly. What I really like is the smokiness. It's so smoky. As if you come from a Korean barbecue, eh. I can't imagine I'm eating all this at a hawker. Things that you only get to enjoy in a restaurant setting. Okay, now I'm going to try the steak. Okay. It, it looks like it needs a bit of sauce. I'm going to, I'm going to sauce it right away. Very, very tender. It needs a bit more seasoning for sure, but extremely tender. But I feel like it needs a bit more salt. Look at the way they cook it. It's like perfect. Right? Look at that. I'm gonna dip it in another sauce. But I think the chimichurri goes to like it's the perfect sauce for this. Uh. I had to say, uh, this truffle sauce, right, a bit on the salty side. Probably that's the reason why they didn't put that much salt on the steak. Because this is quite salty. And it, it, it sort of like complements perfectly. Correct, right, they're supposed to pour the sauce on top. Oh, they're supposed to pour the salt yes. on top, right? Oh, yeah, this one is perfect. Whoa. Yeah. It's even very long. The legs are sitting non stop, huh? Wow, you sit down here and eat. I got an extra plate here. This one is uh, because Yu Jie, right, she, she cooked a lot already. So she's like, just eat all this. Uh. I know we can finish for sure. Which is good, uh, team got more food. Uh. Trainer eat until sit down and eat. Try your rib first. Alright, now more uh, Addicted to the truffle. Eh. Dip more, dip more. With the truffle nicer or? Oh, this one is travel nicer. He every day eat only chicken breast, uh, so <laughs> today is like a luxury one. Today your birthday, today. Okay, so from what I understand, right, the owners, right, from Craft B, they graduate from culinary school, but I don't know which one. But it's a good thing that culinary school graduates, right, can actually come to Hawker, create this kind of like restaurant quality food in the Hawker setting, which is kind of rare and at a very affordable price. Uh. But today, right, I think the winner for me, definitely the prawn burger. I was expecting myself to say the steak with fries or like something else, but today the burgers really, really impressed me. I wasn't expecting this, this sort of quality. Yeah. What is a typical daily caloric intake for you? 2,800. I also do like 800. Normal day. Daily lah. Okay, guys, one thing uh, for you. I hope you ask me. When you eat this type of thing, right? How do you burn it off and everything? Okay, first thing, I don't film like that every day. Second thing, whatever I eat today, right? Because I'm only eating one meal. So I'm, I need to eat about 2.6 to 2.8 a day, right? In order to maintain my physique, right? Okay, because my activity level is very, very high. This, right? Everything add together. I don't think it go past 5k. And today we share it a little bit here and there. So typically a meal like that, right, it won't set me back too much, right? Three to four days later, right, I can shoot again. My weight will be back to normal again. Hey, y'all sure y'all do one idea? I'm gonna suck finish very quickly. Let me finish up real quick. I need to talk to the owners before they close the store. This is not even a challenge. Right? This is pure enjoyment. Okay, okay, before they talk, come, let's go. Okay, I only got one question. Oh, no, two questions. First one is, why do you decide not to serve this? In, at your store, so people can come in and try. This is good stuff, eh? as already the burgers. We actually thought of that, but because if you look at this area, right, the demographics are all of these people. Okay. So eating burgers like that during lunchtime, it definitely would be very dirty. Okay. So you might think of stories and stuff, so if you don't want to do that. Just what if my viewers say they want to try? Yeah, now, if, if this video gets like gets over 5,000 likes and people comment say they want to try your burger, uh -huh. can you do like a special for them? Like uh, one month uh, for them to try or something? Can we see if we can really make this happen. I really want to let you guys try the burger, especially the prawn one. The prawn chili burger. Oh, that one is one of the best prawn burgers I've ever, I've ever tasted. Second question, very quick one. 
I haven't talked to the people at Gastro yet. I don't know if I can do this, but would you guys want to be part of Gastro next year to be the top 50 that I selected? Yeah, Definitely, uh, yay! Okay, so most of you guys that are working here at Amoy or CBD area already tried the Adombu already, okay? But the shrimp burger is really something else, uh, okay? And it will probably appear in gastro. I will make sure it appears in gastro. It's very, very good. It's, it's, it's really one of the better ones. I cannot get enough of the texture. Okay, so that's it, okay? That's it for this video. Again, uh, for me to pick the top 50 in Singapore is really a big task, uh, okay? So I need each and every one of your help to help me curate, to help me find, to help me suggest down in the description. There's gonna be a bunch of like exciting stuff popping out according to the people at Gastro. They'll be eating contests, okay? So I'll definitely be eating against some of you guys. Okay, so Craft B is gonna be the first. First of many in the top 50, okay? Guys, comment down below. I really need each and every one of your inputs. Okay, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.